Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Firestone Walker Brewing Company. And it's a bottle of their Walker's Reserve Porter. Coming in at 5.8% ABV. Everything I've had from Firestone Walker has been fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to getting this, this beer out into the glass. There we go. Just trying to work out which way the uh, the cap goes to the camera. Yeah, big fan of the brewery, big fan of their beers. My well, everything really, their their Union Jack, to their Double Jack, to their Double Extra Special Bitter or something along them lines that they brew. Two finger, tan coloured head, black glass of beer, and it just caught me. I thought I put my head far, far enough out of the the picture here to scratch my nose. I had one of them horrible kind of itchy noses, and I thought, right, pop my head out of the camera, but I didn't quite go far enough. I think I was about there. <laughs> Apologies. Right, yeah, black black beer, a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass. Two finger. Tan coloured head, nice carbonation rising up to the glass. Let's get a nose on this fabulous sounding beer then. Mmm, yeah. And there's, there's a cherry, a, a deep, deep cherry kind of backbone hint of, uh, on, on, the, on the nose. Along with that classic porter chocolate coffee caramel aroma, that roasted malt that's in the beer. I'm going to dive in. Cheers everyone. Mm. And that is a lovely porter. Oh! It's one of them beers that it's got a stout porter mouthfeel. It's not massively kind of full on though. It's not hugely full bodied. But what it does to replace that, it gives you almost like um it, it's just a roasted roasted cow. <laughs> It's a mixture, really. It's a, it's a it's a slightly burnt chocolate, a slightly burnt caramel and coffee that just it's a roasted coffee that carries on and on and on with the beer. A good 20, 30 seconds into the first taste, I was picking up this lovely, subtle but definitely there roastedness that just went on and on and on, and it was lovely, really good. Like vinous characters of the beer as well, and it's nicely hoppy. Missed that with the first taste. I'm concentrating on the the roasted mop with the first taste, but it's definitely got again subtle. It's not huge with the American hops, but they're there. They just kind of kind of wavering along at the bottom. The American hops, and it gives you a nice element aspect of a fruity porter mm. so slightly peachy slightly mango slightly grapefruit slightly slightly lemon but it's not enough for you to say ah oh, this is a black IPA it's not that at all it's it's most definitely a porter but these flavours are just subtly kind of going along at the bottom. Really good. Look at that. Look at that for a glass of beer. 
who needs the wine industry when, when people are producing beers like this? Who needs wine? And the beauty with beer is that you can brew it more or less anywhere in the world. It's not like, like wine where you're kind of restricted to, to, to certain kind of hemisphere, warmer climates but with, with kind of chalky ground and blah de blah de blah boring wine. It's not, it's not like that with beer. You can brew beer wherever, wherever the hell you want to brew beer. You know what I mean? It's, it's not restricted to... You can brew beer in your shed. As long as you're not in the North Pole. <laughs> but yeah, really good. It's a... It's a locking, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a clicking. Do you know when, you, when you, you're driving a car and you get that gear change absolutely spot on with the clutch and the accelerator, it all just works seamlessly, that one gear change. It's like this with the beer, it's like the clutch, the accelerator and the, the, the gear stick, the gear change, all working at the same time to produce a fantastic beer. Why would you have a shed in the North Pole? Um, yeah, to produce a great beer. So my final thoughts and a rating them from for Firestone Walkers Walkers Reserve Porter at 5.8% ABV. Love the way the beer looks in the glass. If that was served to me in a bar, here, sir, here's your Firestone Walker Walker's Reserve. I'd say, whoa, thank you very much, barmaid. Oh, barman. Look at that. It's a great looking beer. Then, I, then I'd stick my nose in and go, mmm. Yes, so far so good. And then that taste, that wonderful taste. It fits. It fits so well. It fits like a glove. Roastedness, chocolate coffee caramel. That underlying American hop taste. It just works. It really does just work. I highly recommend Firestone Walkers, Walkers Reserve Porter at 5.8% ABV. For that reason, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.